Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Just leaving the shop. In fact, before I leave the shop, I kind of want to show you guys this wrap that we just finished up today. First. A little pull for the win. And this is what we just finished up today. I had to show you guys this because, well, it is one of a kind crazy. This wrap is called Purple Diamond and wow. Is there a lot of glitter? Definitely a one of a kind wrap. I don't think you'll ever see anything like this on the road. Crazy. Ram is still only about 20% wrapped. We do have a major wrap update coming in the next video, but for now, we have the Z Flash. This just arrived today, so let's get this installed. Essentially what the Z Flash is, is a little module that you plug into the OBD2 scan port underneath the dash of your car or your truck, and it turns all of your factory lights into flashing lights. Hmm. All right, let's open this thing up and see what we got. So here we have the module itself. This plugs directly into the OBD2 scan port underneath the dash. That's pretty much it, simple as that. It also comes with a wiring kit to plug in your computer so you can update the settings, change settings and whatnot. And then we also have some type of bypass module to get past a security system of some sort. I'm not too entirely sure what this needs to be bypassing, but it's a bypass of some sort, so this goes in as well. How do you guys feel about tailgate bars? I'm not too entirely sold on getting one for my truck, but I do like lights. That might be kind of cool one day. So that little bypass module is actually a gateway bypass module. The gateway is kind of like the central hub of your car or truck, kind of the brains. So this will bypass whatever won't let us flash the lights the way the Z flash wants to flash the lights. All right, OBD2 module installation. There's actually five steps. Step number one, connect the module into the vehicle's OBD2 port. The OBD2 port is located under the dashboard on the driver's side. All right, so there it is right there. This step is pretty straightforward. Plug it in. Step number two, start your vehicle. Step number three, the module will begin to boot and the LED lights will flash for five seconds. When the module is ready to use, the green LED will flash for five seconds and then turn off. Step number five, if you need to disconnect the module and plug it back in, you will need to follow the boot sequence again. Okay, so we probably just missed the flashing light sequence, but I think we're good to move on to the next step. Gateway module installation, 2019 to 2020 Ram 1500. Step number one, remove the panel access underneath the dash. To do that, all we have to do is remove that bolt right there and that bolt right there, and the rest is just clips. I don't have my socket set, so unfortunately, we have to make do with what we have. This might be a little easier if I have my socket set with me, um, but, We'll make it work. I feel like this isn't the first time I've been in this situation either. Okay, so I forgot my tools, but at least I have the Torx bit and needle nose pliers. We're gonna have to make this work. Ha, ah, one down. I'm a boy scout. One down, one to go. Old habits die hard, I guess. Step number two, you can remove the three screws and remove the entire module, or you can reach your hand behind and remove the plugs from the module. After we do that, we remove the two plugs in the security module and reconnect to the bypass module. Okay, let's find this little harness, it is tight. Okay, so there it is right back there, that's not too bad. So we'll take that one out, and that one out. Okay, all right. That was really easy. I also don't think I had to even remove this piece here. All right, we're all set. So that was an incredibly easy installation. Let's see how we operate this. Step number one, pull the high beam stock back for five seconds to activate it. You'll know it's turned on when the high beam indicator is active on the dashboard. If your vehicle is equipped with a dashboard screen, it will display the Z flash pattern that you are currently using in place where your radio normally displays. Wow. And to turn it off, pull the high beam stock for two seconds. That is pretty cool. To change the pattern, press both the left arrow and cancel button simultaneously. Flash pattern will be displayed on the dashboard if your dashboard screen is set to view the radio. This is high tech. All right, moment of truth. Let's fire this thing up. So it said hold back the high beam stock for five seconds. Nothing yet. Nothing yet. No way. <laughs> I see the lights flashing. All right, let's see it, let's see it. Whoa. Whoa. 
Everything's flashing. The fog lights too. Uh, this is definitely, definitely not legal for on-road use. So to skip through the cycles, we do the left arrow and the cancel button at the exact same time. Setting number two seems a little more mild. It looks like we only have the turn signals flashing at the exact same time on both sides, as well as the parking lights. And back here we have the reverse lights and the brake lights flashing. And that's pretty much it. Setting number three. Setting number three is a little slower, but all the lights do flash up front and I kind of like that sequential thing going on. That's kind of cool. This is pretty cool, but it'd be a little cooler if the sun was down. So if the sun can go down, that would be fantastic. Now we can showcase the light show with the sun down. Now I just found out that you can activate the lights with the truck off using the key fob. So we go unlock, unlock, lock, unlock. And just like that, light show begins. How sick is that? Oh, this is so cool. I have spent money on dumber things in my life, but turning my truck into a live rave show, I think it was mandatory. What do you guys think? I think, I think this is so much fun. Unfortunately though, no, I cannot use it too often, if really ever, because, well, having flashing lights on public road is obviously not legal by any means, so. Yeah, these bad boys won't be on too often, unfortunately, but it'll still be fun on private property, car shows, and uh, all that good stuff, I guess. But um, not a bad way to spend <laughs> less than 200 bucks. You can also switch through the light cycles using your key fob via the unlock button. So that'll switch through to the next light cycle. Ooh, that's a cool one. So those are the flash patterns from the manufacturer, but you can modify them using the configuration software from Z Flash's website to make them flash any which way you want. It'll look very similar to this. You can download it onto your PC and it looks like you can have up to six settings and you can check the box for low beams, high beams, fogs, turn signals, DRLs, brake lights, reverse, all those lights, whichever ones you want to stay on or stay off and how many times they flash, the speed, you can modify it any way you want. I will definitely be modifying them in a different way because for one, the brake lights, I know that for a fact, they cannot flash. And that would be bad if I had those on on a California road, which obviously no matter what, you probably can't have this or anything anywhere near this on a California roadway. But especially with there being a red flashing light, that is going to be a big no-no. So I will probably just modify the brake flash to the turn signal flash. That way at least it's not red it's orange and then white. Probably something very similar to this where it flashes between the reverse lights and the brake lamps, but not the brake lamps, the turn signals instead. And with that, I'll probably also make the cargo lamps flash back and forth as well, just for the ultimate extension of my hazard lights. If you guys have any recommendations on a flash pattern that you would like to see on the Ram, let me know in the comments below and I will do my best to replicate that into the Z Flash module. I'm having way too much fun right now just staring at this. This is so cool. Let's go ahead and flip through this. I like this setting the most for what they gave me preset. Everything flashes like evenly. It's super smooth. All the transitions are real clean. This one's cool. I did sneak one little mod into the truck without telling you guys. So let's go check that out. Uh, no, he didn't. Look how bright these things are. Pretty cool. So right now I have them on the setting that cycles through all of the colors, but you can change it. There's a bunch of different settings. You can make it to where it flashes with the beat of the music. You can have it stay on one color. You can have it flash fast. You can have it flash slow. You can have it strobe. A lot of settings. This one's crazy. Whoa. These are incredibly bright. I'll link these in the description below for you guys. I really need to get around installing the rock lights underneath the truck. I'm gonna do the exact same thing I did on the Silverado and and just install some bright white lights. I'm not gonna do any multicolored type of rock lights or any color whatsoever. For one, I think the white lights look the best. They produce the most light. Also, I think I'd run into the least amount of issues if I were to have an issue 
with driving those on public roads because I had a lot of temptation to use those things at all times. So having like a blue or a green, purple or a red is probably gonna have a lot more issues when it comes to you know, you know what I mean. We have the new wheel and tire setup going on tomorrow, so stay tuned. We are doing the 35s on the 20s. I am very excited. Also, stay tuned for the big wrap update. Satin neon blue. Well, more to come on that. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will catch you guys on the next one. Till then, peace out.